see you and I sometimes, oh, God, help us in America. We want to hate everybody that's not our political party. We want to hate everybody that's not our religious ideology. Facebook, I don't know if Facebook caused this or Facebook is revealing how dirty and nasty our hearts have been for a long time. But we're wicked. We're nasty and dirty. We're slandering every single day. Every single day, uh, your Facebook friends are slandering, smearing somebody. You know it's a truth. Every single day, if you're a Democrat, you're applauding people that are smearing him and hating him. And every single day when you, Obama was president, if you were, you were applauding people who smeared Obama. And it's a man. The vulgarity level has reached uh, unbelievable levels now in America. Just taken for granted because social media just keeps spreading vulgarity because Americans have just become vulgar-mouthed people talk too much trash, dropping too many word bombs. like, it. And, I, and I read that and I thought, well, that's not the world, that's, just, that's Christians. I got Christian friends on Facebook, they, they drop the bombs all the time. Because everybody, it's justifiable. It's justifiable when it's against Trump or Obama a few years ago. Really? Lord have mercy and help us Oh, but the crazy thing is, I, I have to read this now and then, and I have to remind myself, God loves that person dropping the bombs as much as he loves me. That person whose language and whose political point of view I can't stand is loved by God. Loved. If that person was the last person on earth, he would have still died for that person. You want to remind yourself of that sometimes with your Muslim friends and Muslim writers? Do you, you think God hates Muslims? You better think again. There aren't four gods who made different classes of people. One God made all men in his image and likeness. And one God loves every man enough that he would have gone to Calvary for each one of them. He didn't say because he knew what good, squeaky, clean people you would be. He was willing to go to Calvary. He says, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I'm just telling you. Don't you ever look around and say, I'm so glad I have the favor of the Father and those people out there don't. The favor of the Father on you would be such that he would like for you to love those people the same way he loves them. Not to smear them, not to slander them, not to hate them, not to be a bigot, not to be a racist, not to be judgmental, to just love. Because that's what he did for us. I don't know. Man, racism has raised its ugly head in America. I thought it was just about dead. I don't mind telling you. I wasn't raised in racism, and I was raised in the civil riots of, of the 60s. I never heard my father and mother ever say anything racist. My mother actually thanked God for Martin Luther King Jr. because she said it, 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 would, it would have taken a special kind of man like that to make the changes that need to be made in America. Mm -hmm.